Greetings, Embers, and happy Friday the 13th. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Tuck in, get warm, and prepare for the chills. This story is entitled, She Loves Me Not, She Loves Me. Written by Inevitable Cookie 74. Hello, Diary. This is Ian, and I have a story for you. Why did she break up with me? <laughs> I thought Anna loved me. I loved her. <laughs> I just wanted her to stay with me, but she left me. <laughs> <sighs> she she hates me. She hates me. <laughs> it's not fair. It's so not fair that she can leave me and just forget about me. <laughs> like I'm nothing to her. It's like she never even left me. <laughs> I'm not going to allow it. We can start over. I'm not going to give up on her. I love her so much. <laughs> I'd do anything to have her back in my arms again. <laughs> And if that means that I have to harm her to get her to understand, I will. I found her new number, and I begged for a second chance. But she didn't want me. So it's true. She hates me. 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 No. I refuse to let this happen. I can change her. She doesn't hate me. She loves me. I know it. No one understands her like I do. No one else will love her like I do. <laughs> no one else should be able to have her but me. I've waited so long for this moment. The moment has come where Anna and I will redo our relationship and we'll love each other again. After hours of searching, I was able to find my darling's home. She doesn't live too far. I'll just pay her a visit. <laughs> I had to break some of her things, like the door and whatnot, in order to show her how serious I was about my love for her. She still doesn't understand. She still hides from me. <laughs> she still hates me. That's okay, though. She won't for long. Her stupid cat was nothing more than an obstacle. An obstacle that needed to be erased. So I did Anna a favor and got rid of that cat for her. She'll appreciate it so much, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll look for her whilst I'm inside her home. I found her phone. I'll hold on to it as a souvenir. I tore her home apart looking for her. I found her cowering in a closet. She looked so beautiful. Her frail, helpless form was lovely, in such a position of fear. I pulled her out of the closet. She tried to run, but I stabbed her side to stop her. And then she hid me with a radio. <laughs> it didn't hurt, but my head bled a bit. But that was nothing compared to my love for her. I love her, and I wanted to have her again. So, I held on to her. I wanted to take her home with me. 
But first, I had to teach her a lesson. She tried to struggle out of my grip, so I held her down on the floor. (laughs) I had to muffle her screams and stab her two or three times because she kept fighting my affection. She was covered in her own blood. (laughs) I didn't care. She still looked beautiful. (laughs) I love her so much. I even licked her blood off my knife. It tasted so good. Her DNA in my mouth. The sensation was unreal. Mm. After some minutes of struggling, she fell unconscious due to blood loss. The rest of the process was the easier. I was able to put her in my car and take her home with me. I set up a new bedroom for her in my attic and I threw her phone ID and wallet in the nearest ocean. (laughs) I wanted her to rely on me for everything. I made sure that she would never have to leave my home. Ever! I will cook for her and care for her. And if she tries to misbehave, I'll have to cut her skin to calm her down. (laughs) Now she's here. In my home. In my attic. (laughs) I have her all to myself. No one else can have her. She's mine. And she always will be. She'll never leave me now. She'll want to stay with me. She has no one else. And I just don't want to picture my lovely darling all alone. (sighs) Now we can finally start our relationship over. I know she loves me. I know it. She wants to start over too. And we will. Oh, we will. And that concludes tonight's story. I hope you enjoyed. Remember what I always like to say. When life gives you fire, become a phoenix. I hope you are all well, healthy, and safe. Until then, I'll read to you all soon. Ciao, everyone.